Hello peoples, this is Banner Knights, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. And... God, this just doesn't feel right. I'm sorry, guys. I'm I'm sorry it took so long to get another episode up, but... Oh, my God. I've just been so busy lately. It was with work and school and stuff. I mean, in a few weeks, it'll be a little bit easier because school's going to be ended by then. But that also means that these next couple weeks are going to be extremely busy for me. Uh, especially given the fact that, well, to be frank, uh, finals are coming up, which I'm pretty sure you guys could assume since I said, uh, school's coming to an end right now, but, uh, we'll figure some way around that, guys. Uh, I can't promise an episode up every day, and it is very unlikely, uh, that I'll get one up every day, obviously, but we'll do what we can. Anyway guys, you may be wondering why I'm heading over to the Night Academy, but there is something I would like to do, uh, hmm, actually just for effect. Uh, basically what I, just what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find a bed in here real quick to sleep in. Not something you hear very often, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna come in here, I'm, I'm gonna find a bed and just sleep in it. I eh, can't go in Zelda's, it's always locked. <laughs> Instructor R, well. Gonna sleep on your bed. Hey, dude. Hey, Mia. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I had to let that go. <sighs> and down we go. And we wake up with Mia suffocating us. Just kidding. And he's over there for whatever reason. Um, there's Mia in there. Where is Mia? Hmm. I keep my distance from Mia at night. <laughs> There's a one time when she snuck into the academy after nightfall. I recommend that you be extra careful when you go out at night. Oh dear, that caused quite the commotion. <laughs> well, yeah, as we saw, Mia does kind of become a bit demonic when night falls. Uh, there is actually a reason behind that, and the game does touch on that, but I don't want to spoil anything, so I will talk to you about that later. But anyway, without wasting any more time, which I already have, the thing that we're actually here for before we continue on, because, guys, in this in this episode, I'm probably going to continue on with the story. Just ignore me. Oh, actually, we might be able to just ignore me, Pivot. I'm just being crazy and running around this place. Oh, well, first, we can grab this little bugger. No pun intended. Come on. Yeah, I got a few things I ordered off of Amazon and a few other sites, uh, mostly around Cyber Monday for some deals. Uh, I'll probably talk about those things when they get uh, when they get here and stuff. But anyway, guys, you get up here, and that light right there looked like eyes for a moment, and it kind of creeped me out. But anyway, now that we have the claw shots... Oh, nope, don't grab the air. Drop down here. And we get dropped right in... Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. We get actually up in the attic. Where the hell are we? Here, water. Ooh, someone taking a bath? Please tell me it's one of the girls. Please tell me it's one of the girls. Wait, who is that? Wait, wait. Oh my god, it's the owl! Ugh! It's the headma- Ugh! Oh my god, the headmaster is- The headmaster is currently taking a shower and I'm peeping on him. Okay. Let's get away from the- Okay, uh... That's a bit- wrong. I guess that's Nintendo's way of basically trolling the player like, huh, oh, you thought you were going to watch a girl take a bath? Nah, here, we'll give you this slightly, this partially overweight <laughs> balding man. But anyway guys, we drop through here and you can see there's a gratitude crystal. Now you may, may be wondering whose room this is, but actually if you look at the background there you won't be wondering. This is indeed Zelda's room. And this is the actual only way to get inside here. Now, if you go into Karane's, uh, Karane's room at night... Oh, I like that light that she has right there. But anyway, if you go into her room at night and look through here, you can see the gratitude crystal here, so obviously you'll know there's some way to get through here. That's kind of nice how it's just lying there on the pillow. But God, this is creepy. Look at the size of this opening between the rooms. I mean, she could just be sleeping here. She could just reach her arm in here and... Ugh, God, I don't even want to think about it. Many different scenarios there, I won't get into a few of them. <laughs> but god, that'd be like the best way to scare someone at night. Oh yeah. Well, while we're here, let's look around. Aww. She has a nice looking portrait with her and her dad. Actually, it looks pretty good quality, actually. For what it is. 
Some bird statues, some nicochet apparently, and she's got a tingle doll. She has a freaking tingle doll. Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> uh, anyway, got another bird statue here. She has another one of those lights. Got her bed here. And in here. Yep, guys, just as if it's a heart left for Link himself, we have a piece of heart straight from Zelda's bedroom. And, wait, did I miss anything in there? Eh, it's got some flowers and some pictures and stuff. But it looks like a tiny bird. You really shouldn't open other people's cupboards without permission. Well, I can't really get permission from her now, can I? Ah, oh, whatever. Uh, you know what, Zelda? I'm gonna use her bed. <laughs> Don't know how immoral this would be considered compared to the other beds I've already slept in, but... Hey, who cares? As far as I'm concerned, she's Link's girlfriend in this game. I don't care if anyone says otherwise. There was a freaking romance trailer for it. I'm taking it. Now guys, anyway, as if we hadn't spent enough time in here, it is time to head out. And I believe I already picked up all the goddess chests, right? Oh my god, it's been a few... God, it's been... Uh, probably almost a week since I last actually recorded. Uh, it just doesn't feel right. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know why I pressed that button. And no chest here, that's for sure. Well, nothing to do, but let's find ourselves a pier, which luckily there's one right here. And ourselves this, and take off, and... Best takeoff ever. Uh, I always feel sorry for the bird at that point. Anyway, uh... Wait, that's over this way. Didn't I get that already? Wait a second. Okay, guys, I'm I'm gonna run over there real quick and figure out what the heck that is. Okay, I was not expecting to have to go check on a chest right now. Wait. Oh, dude, watch where you're going. <laughs> Sorry about that, bro. But jeez. Okay, but seriously, didn't we pick up this chest already? When the heck did we get in? When did we? Huh? This is over here, right? Yeah, I got this already. Wait. Wait, what? That one's open. Okay, what the heck is going on here? It's like another item island directly above or beneath the one I was just on. And I don't realize it, or... No? Or is there something on the back side of it? Yes, it's definitely that island right there. What's that? Oh... No, 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 no. Ah. Ah, freaking angles. I feel like... I feel like I'm on on guard in... DK64. Okay, so apparently this, there was this one over here that I completely and utterly forgot about. And when did we pick up the goddess cube for this one? Okay, I gotta look this up after this. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> And we got the life medal. Oh. Um. <laughs> okay, I'm glad we actually decided to check on that. Uh, guys, that is the second and last uh, life medal. As you, uh, well, I can't really check it right here, but it's it's the medal that actually gives you another heart container. We are we're already carrying one with us, so that leaves that out. But okay. God, moving along with the side of the thunderhead right here, it does it doesn't even feel like I'm moving right now. Like it legitimately doesn't feel like I'm making any progress. Come on, this better not take too long. Oh my God, we're already that far into the video. How does it take that long to do just what I did? I swear, guys, it it always almost always feels uh a lot longer, or it feels like it's 
a lot shorter. Like, it feels like I've only been recording for maybe five minutes, but as you guys can tell there, it's almost ten minutes now. Anyway, our next destination is into the Thunderhead. Because, as you know, we never actually got the third and final song from the Isle of Songs. At least it should be the final song. Oh, get away from me, cent centipede buggers. Hey, come here. You wanna mess with me? Wanna mess with me? Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, you just got out of that. Honestly, what I think they could have done a little better, or at least what would have been a bit cooler, is imagine how awesome it would have been. Uh, almost landed on that. Imagine how awesome it would have been if, uh, um, instead of playing the the normal sky music while you're in while you're inside the Thunderhead. Imagine how cool it would have been if they would have played like a like a gloomier version, like same song, but maybe slower, make it darker and deeper and stuff like that. But anyway, guys, on to the next song in the Isle of Storms. Where's this one gonna come from? Oh, Jesus Christ, this one's coming out from under me. Oh, that's a fairly small statue compared to the others, at least. God, the mouth! The mouth! God, look at Link's utter... Just... Surprise. Master Beta, I have important information. When you struck the crest with a skyward strike from your sword, a message from the goddess awakened deep within my memory. The goddess intended this message for you, Master. These are her words. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I am the one guiding you from my place at the edge of time. The last of the sacred flames still eludes you. To obtain it, you must obtain another sacred gift. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with another gift. Make use of the power of these gifts, and you will most certainly find the path to the sacred flames. Now I bestow upon you another melody. Let it serve as the key to unlocking your final trial. It awaits you upon Elden Volcano. According to my records, that song you just heard is called Din's Power. Use this song of might to locate the last trial. And guys, just like the last one, I had my head bobbing with the music of that of the song we just heard along the whole way. I mean, just how awesome is that? It's very simple, but it's catchy. You learn Din's Power. Yeah, guys, and we got our third song of the goddess. All ready to go. I've committed Din's power to my memory. Now you have the ability to use Dowson to locate the gate to the final trial. I suggest you travel the Elden Volcano. And guys, that is very well where we are heading next. And now, so for the last thing, is just simply to head Yes, yes, I'll set you to the trial. Now, like I said, our next thing is to head over there. So, just to kind of quicken up the pace a bit, I will meet you over in the Elden Volcano. And here we are, guys, at Elden Volcano itself. Point to your preferred scenario, blah, blah, blah. Same thing we've always heard. 
Now, anyway, guys, uh, if memory serves, which I'm hoping for God it does, we will want to head kind of towards the entrance to the temple once again. Because as usual, all of them, I believe, are right out, like, right in the direction of the temple entrance, but hopefully I'm correct on this one. We have arrived at Elden Volcano. Yes, we have. Use your dusting ability to look at the gate to the trial. You must pass this trial in order to obtain the sacred flame. Now... It doesn't start here, does it? <laughs> Down that way. Okay, I'm trying to remember where it goes. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. I know where it goes, guys. Now, let's do some rolling here. And to the bottom we are. Jump! God, I hate how you just barely don't make that. <sighs> I got a few of these guys while we're here. <sighs> now I get I'm assuming you guys could probably see this coming, but I'm probably not gonna be doing the Silent Realm for Elden Volcano in this episode. Give it well, mainly for Oh, yeah, don't want to jump that way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mainly for two sp very specific re reasons. Oh, gee. Supposed to go down there, wasn't it? What? Yeah, is there any down there? Yes. For two specific reasons that I'm trying to get to. One is that this episode's been going on long enough and... God, I, maybe it's just that I haven't recorded in a while. This episode just seems absurdly short. Like, to me. It just seems that way to me at the moment. And down he goes. I almost beat him to the bottom. But yeah, this thing is just obscenely short. Or, it seems obscenely short to me, even though it's... God, it's already this long. And also for the reason that, uh, well, just, I'll, I'll be frank with you guys. This Silent Realm is probably going to be the toughest one so far. Again, I didn't die in this one in my first playthrough, but this is the one I came closest to many times throughout the entire thing. Let's hope things go well this time. Or for your guys' sake, let's hope they don't. <laughs> but anyway, guys, sorry to say, this has been Beta Knights for Let's Play Legends of the Scoured Sword. I will see you in the next episode, and we'll take on the Silent Realm. <sighs> Sorry for not making too much progress in this one, guys. But we'll see you about next time. Bye-bye for now. Ciao.